Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and as you can see it's time for another organize with me video. So I'm going to be organizing some of my nail supplies. These are going to be like rhinestones and charms and other random embellishments. So I have everything just here in a basket and I'm just going to go through and we're going to organize it together. So I kind of actually I know where I want to start with this. First I want to take out everything. So these are just the few items that I've recently hauled. And then I want to show you all my drawer here. I know this looks a lot different from the uh, foil video. So if you all want to see how it looked previous to this, definitely go and check that video out. I had things organized completely different, but I've since got new storage items and I found new ways to store my, my, my nail supplies. So I do have here some, I don't even know if y'all can see this here. Okay, there we go. So I do here have back here some more like charms and such. So I just want to take these out. I think I only have a few here and put them up here and then I think as far as charms and such are concerned that's everything I'm actually seeing something I'm organized elsewhere and yeah I think that's it oh actually I want to take these out too I want to take these out too and organize these into these containers that I have so I'm gonna organize these what else we got back here I got some more glitters here Got, I think that's everything. These are like my little practice nails. Um, I think that's it out of this drawer. And then I organized all of my nail tips over here. I unfortunately didn't film how I reorganized the drawer, but I am going to do a full nail room tour and just show you all, you know, what, where everything is and why I put it where I put it. And I think that is it. Oh, nope, found some more charms. So here we go here. And I think that's it out of this drawer. So y'all, let's go ahead and get into this video. I am so ready to just get everything organized and just put away because I'm really just tired of looking at this nail stuff everywhere. <laughs> so I think this is a good view. I think I might, uh, for the most part, I'm gonna just keep it zoomed out so you all can see everything that I'm working on. But I kind of want to start with the easy items first. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is I also have these like clear containers that I got from Dollar Tree. So what I think what I wanna do is these little pinwheel thingies, they seem like they fit in there pretty well. So I wanna put those in here. So let's see. So let's see if these will fit, okay. So those fit perfectly in here. So I'm just gonna put my little pinwheels in here. And then for now, I guess these are all sideways. I think for now I'm just gonna go ahead and store these in here like this as well. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And I'll come back to this later to see if I wanna organize it differently. But I have those. I actually have a place where I organize these type of items here. Let me show you all that. So this is an old candy container here. Um, is this Ferrero Rocher? I'm not sure how to say that, but this is where I have some of my, this is where I have some of my other ones like this. So as you can see here, I have the ones that I got from Christmas in here. And so I'm gonna put this in here. I got this from my giveaway from Sandra. And then these things right here, I like it because you can see clear through the bottom. So I just put them in here upside down. And I do have a few more of those that I recently got here. So I'm gonna put that here. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put that here, put that here. And then put this one right here. And I have another one that I know can fit here. And that goes along, that's a leaf. Okay, I just found some more here. Just gonna put that here. Put that here. Okay. I'm thinking it'll probably make more sense for them to have space because when they're right next to each other, they kind of tend to flip, as you can see. So I think I have to keep space in between them so that they're not direct, not, not directly next to each other. So I'll probably do something like this. Okay. And then maybe just actually, no, this one will stay here. Like so. And then maybe put these clear ones in between so that it doesn't 
like rotate over. And I know that's not as organized, it's not as organized as I would like it to look, but it's all in one location, so I'm not mad at that. No, I don't like that look. Okay, we'll have to come back to this then. So I know for sure I'm okay with these like that. And I guess with these for now, I'm gonna just keep them kind of spaced apart. So I'm gonna leave that like this for now. Okay. And then what do we have next? So we still have those in here. So I think for now I'm gonna keep that like that. So I did have this organized like this, and these are just like random, um, I guess random like items that came in these like long type containers. I don't think I wanna depot these or move them to different to a different thing because I do like how they're organized. So I wanna store all of these like that. And because I have more in this basket here, I'm just gonna take all of these out like so. Okay. And that's all of those. Yeah, so I'm gonna just take those out and then actually transfer all of that into here. And then I think I wanna transfer, like leave these inside of here, if that makes sense. Let me just show you what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna move all of that over here. And so because this is a little bit longer, I feel like it could fit more of these. And so, yeah, so just like that, I can put those in here like that. And then these right here. So I think I wanna have a row of like rhinestones and then random items if I have random items. So these are rhinestones, rhinestones, random, rhinestones, some more of the longer boxes here. Okay. And then I do have another long box right here, but it looks like some of the rhinestones have fallen out, have fallen out. So I'll need to take my time and go through and organize this. I might end up actually depotting this since they're already kind of mixed anyway. I might just depot this and put this in one big thing. So we'll see what I end up doing with that. But yeah, I think, and then, okay, maybe I'll just leave that here. I'll just put this here. I know I want for sure my rhinestones to be over here. So maybe just like 80 crystal rhinestones I'll put here. I don't want to put the colored ones at the bottom because I don't reach for them that often. So, okay, so like this. 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 And this. Okay, so I like how that is. And then these are the ones I probably reach for the most. So like my AV crystals here. And then I don't even mind. Oh, this is a different, this is a different type of one. This one seems like a really high quality one. Maybe I'll just put that one like that. Put you here, put you here, put you here. And then I guess I'll go ahead and actually probably put this at the bottom and leave that like that. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. Okay, sorry about that, my camera just went dead. So yeah, I was gonna leave this like this, but um, I know that when I move it, it's gonna slide around. So I think what I wanna do is go ahead and put the leaves here since they're not really diamonds. Since they're not really rhinestones and So all my rhinestones are in this little basket here. So that's what we have for rhinestones. Uh, I think I'm gonna do glitters in a separate video. I do have more glitters that I didn't take out um, for this video. And then these, I'll keep these here for now to see what we might do. So here are all my charms and rhinestones. So I wanna go for the low hanging fruit here. Um, so I want to do themed, so I'm going to put my charms in this container here and I want to do themes, right? So I'm thinking that I'm going to do like Christmas charms in one, Halloween in another, and then whenever I get ready to do my nails, I could just take out that particular case for that theme. So 
So that's what I plan to do with this. And I know that I hauled a lot of teddy bears. So I'm gonna go with all of my teddy bears right now. And I know I hauled at one point a lot of roses. So I'm just gonna go through and sort these out. Let's see, some skulls here, teddy bears. I also know I hauled a lot of these little spiders. More teddy bears here. Roses. Let's see. This is Christmas themed, so I'm gonna keep Christmas up high. These are bigger charms, I mean bigger rhinestones, so I'm gonna just put these back in the little storage container here. Got some crowns, snowflakes, so that's Christmas themed. More teddy bears, roses. Let's see. Oh, I love these skull heads and these clocks. Okay, I didn't realize I had two of these clocks here, so I'm gonna put that right here. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the skulls just yet. I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, I have two of these perfume bottles. I'm gonna put that to the side. I think I have an idea of how I'm gonna do these. More spiders. Let's see. This is just a mix here. Mix a mix. So these are all going back in this basket here for now. Bows. I don't think I have a lot of bows. It looks like I have a decent amount of crowns, so maybe I'll make a section for crowns as well. And I got some bows. Okay. okay, so for now, oh, more spiders. I love these chunky crystals. These are so cute. And this is more bears. And that is an I love you. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna put all of these in here. And the few crowns that I have, I'm gonna kind of sort of put them to the side. And then, okay. Um, and then my bows. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put all of my spiders into one container here. Like so. So I have two of the gold ones, but they have different like rhinestones in them. So just go like this. Okay, so those are my spider, the gold spider charms. Now I'm gonna do the silver ones. And then I also have some skulls, and that's more so Halloween themed. So these skulls right here, I have silver and I have gold. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here too, because, you know, this Halloween theme, it'll work. Oh, I just missed that completely. <laughs> that's why I have my wax pencil here. This charm right here, the I love you, is actually what I have on my nails right now. Just did my Valentine's Day nails, so that's what these charms are. Let me show you here. That's what these are. That's what they look like on the nail. Really cute. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm gonna go in with my roses. So I have one, two, three. So I think I'm gonna put the gold and silver ones together and then these kind of gummy ones in one by itself. Like 
and then the two roses together. this out for now. Let's see what else I want to do here. Okay, so I have a lot of crowns and I have these jewels. So, okay. y'all think? Y'all think these are fitting here? I don't think they will. I think it's too many. But I might try it. I might try to do like the different sizes in one of these, but we'll see here. I don't know if it's going to fit. So for now, I'm going to do... So I see these crowns, let me work on crowns first. So I have a few different crowns. So I have the gummy ones, I have some silver ones, and I have some gold ones. So I'm gonna put these away in here. So I can just open them all up. Yeah, these are so pretty. I love these. They're so gorgeous. Yeah, these are just stunning. Look at these. Oh my goodness. I love these right here. That's probably my favorite one. <laughs> now I'm going to do Christmas. Okay. So for Christmas, so for Christmas, I have these here. I'm going to start with the snowflakes. And then actually for this Christmas one, these right here are a big concoction of mixed, mixed Christmas charms. And so I kind of want to open a few of these up. Let's see. Yeah, like this one here. Close these. This one here. This one here. Okay, these are just pearls. But I need to kind of go through this and just get out the little big chunky charms that's in here. So for instance, this one has like this cool like uh, Christmas hat on here. So I'm going to just go through and take the big charms out of these. I finished going through these little pots like this and picking out all the chunky Christmas charms. So these are all the cr chunky Christmas charms that was like mixed up in that one. And then I also decided to go ahead and take these little Christmas trees and throw those in there with that. So that this I'll probably just use for something else, not sure what. So I'm gonna close all these up. So this is my kind of Christmas themed one here. And then this one, which is still sitting, I have the two empty spaces. I figured these would be good to put my clocks and then my perfume bottles in. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there. Actually, my clocks. Actually, I would prefer to put my clocks in here. Do I want to? Because yeah. I feel like I could mix these with something else. I don't know what though. No, I'm gonna leave it like it is for now, but I'm gonna probably move that one at some point. So I'm gonna put my clocks here. That's how all of these look. Okay. And then I'm gonna go through. I have one more that's empty here. And I have these chains that I don't know what to do with. Oh, I got some. I forgot about these too. I'm gonna go ahead and put my chains in here. And then these rings. I love these chains too. So I actually have a video where I put these chains over some new nails and y'all, they were so bomb.com. That's my Beatles. Um, no, not even my Beatles. That's my Gelin. This was my Gelin uh, ex nail extension kit video. So y'all go check that out. I use those and these last really well. I kept those nails on for over two weeks. So got that. And then these little rings here, I think because this is so small and by itself, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rings in there with it. I probably won't use those together when I do a set, but I just wanna have it put away. Okay, and then I realized I have one, two, three, four of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them into this. And this is, I'm gonna go in order. So four, five, eight, and 12. Actually, I don't even think that these are gonna fit in here. Yeah, looks like it's too big. So maybe I'll just do the four and eight. And then these bigger chunky crystals I'll put in here. No, I don't think I'm gonna do anything with these just yet. I don't know how I wanna store these. If you all have any recommendations on how I can store these crystals, let me know, or these rhinestones, let me know because I want them to be all kind of in the same area and I do want them still separated by size. So let me know if there's a more efficient way to store these. So I'm gonna hold off on these for now and then the female slices, I don't feel like are gonna fit in here either, so I think I need to find something else to do with that. And let's see, I do have this here, and I'm just gonna put that in my nail sticker book. I should have some here already. Yeah, I have these here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. I think what I might do actually I have these sanding bands here. I think I might take these sanding bands out and put them somewhere else because they're different colors so I'll know that they're different grits. And I'll probably end up organizing. I like the fact that they're kind of sealed off. So I'm gonna probably wipe this clean and maybe end up organizing either these big chunky confettis or likely I will put maybe these rhinestones in there. Let me know what y'all think. I don't really know what I wanna do with this. Maybe I'll put these in there actually. I think this might fit. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. I think I might end up doing this, but for now, I think I'm gonna let it sit. I'm not gonna mess with it, but I'll wait for you all to comment and let me know if you all think I should put these in here to get this organized. Um, and then what should I do with my Fimo? My Fimo stickers, I mean my Fimo. I don't know what to do with that either. So I think I'm gonna take this out and use this container for something else though. So let me know down in the comments how I should do this. And I think that's it for this video, you guys. Um, I was able to get everything organized except these few pieces. Oh, these here, okay. So for these, I think I am gonna go ahead and just store those in here, just to kind of give them a home. All right, so I think that is it. So I went from, so I went from all of these packages here 
to this nice compact storage which I love <laughs> and this is the only thing that I have left to organize which is just like some female stickers and some rhinestones some females and some rhinestones so that's that so I'm gonna go, go ahead and open each one of these up so you all can see them up close and personal so this one here is my Halloween box I only got three here, so I still have room for others, but these are the cute little spiders that I got and some skulls. And then in here, I just have teddy bears. Okay, so I love you. Some different colored clay looking teddy bears. Um, some of the kind of, I wouldn't call them jelly, jelly teddy bears, but more teddy bears. These are awkward. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those. And this one I have crowns and chains. So that's what these look like. And this one. This one, I, it's probably my favorite one. It's so bling blingy, y'all. So I got some, what do I have in here? Random stuff. I got bows, clusters, these beautiful fox heads. Um, an assortment, these are just rings and um, other smaller charms. Another fave here. I love these clocks right here. So I have these clocks. I have the perfume bottle and then some roses. I have the Christmas themed one here. So these are snowflakes, reefs, bows, and then an assortment. And then you all just saw me do these crystals here. Okay, so a majority of this stuff, actually, if not all, yeah, every last one of these items I actually got off of Shein. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be how I organize my charms for now. And every last one of these items I got off of Shein, including the storage container. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. So I have this here. And then this is how I'm gonna organize. For now, this is how I'm gonna keep this organized. So I just have a couple of pinwheels here. couple of pinwheels here. Oh, actually, I just thought about it. I have more pinwheels. So in this storage container here, I have more pinwheels. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in here. I think I'm gonna end up moving these out and putting them somewhere else. Once I figure out how I'm gonna store these, I'm gonna store this that same way and likely I'll do the same with these. But for now, they're gonna go in here. Okay, so that's how this is gonna be stored for now. And if I get more pinwheels, then I'll likely put them in here, but that's how this is for now. And then what else do we have, y'all? I think that's it. So this is the only thing I have left to store and organize. Okay, yeah, so that's my drums for now. Yes, y'all, it feels so good trying to get this space together. Okay, I'm so tired of all my nail art being all over the place so yes it is nice to be able to just now when I want to do my nails I could just come and look at this and know I have all of my stuff here so just to kind of show you all the other ways I've organized my things I also have I think you all have seen this already if I haven't posted this video it'll be coming out soon but this is how I organize my nail foils and so I have them in this thing here and all the labels at the bottom. So I actually recently did my nails. Actually, I did this set with some foils. Don't mind my little chip finger here. I'm getting ready to take this off. But I did foils on these two nails. And um, yeah, I realized it's really inefficient to find my foils in here. So I'm gonna have to find a different process. I have some stickers that came with some swatch sticks with um, two of each number. So I'm actually gonna go through and swatch my entire foil collection and that way I'll be able to have my swatch sticks and when I pick the foil I want I can come and just find the number here so um, that's going to make me be able to keep it compact because I like the idea of all of my storage being really compact you know so um, let me know if you all want to see a video of me swatching all of my nail foils I'll be happy to film that so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video I do have a few more organization videos coming soon as well as my nail room tour which I'm super excited to film for you all I think I'm almost done and the room is looking 
how I want it to look. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any other type of videos you all like to see from me. I'm super open and um, yeah, I want to make sure I'm making content that you all want to view. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!